Hello, everyone. This is me and my hairy muff. We have introduced a new animal into the uh, into our DVD, and here he is. He's called Fred. Um, so Fred and I are going to tell you about what we've done this week, and um, we've done a lot. This here, one, two, three whole pages of scribble, um, in no particular order of importance. Um, Mickey finished the dining room and it looks beautiful and it's bright red with a pink ceiling and a white picture rail and um, we quickly today uncovered all the dust sheets, uh, took them all off and dusted the pianos and I played some piano and Toe made the most beautiful dinner, lunch for us all and um, we all sat around um, and ate it and it was very nice. Um, what does that mean? Loved how he talked. I don't know what that means. Anyway, we all had lunch and it looked lovely. I said that really. Um, uh, Glenn and his two boys uh, plastered the kitchen ceiling and it's uh, looking very nice. It's been a year of hanging off the ceiling and now finally it's back back up there. Uh, Lucy, our resident artist in residence, um, moved in uh, for a kind of early week so that we can kind of get to know each other a little before she actually moves in, which is on August the 6th. And she's very nice. And we're going to live together for six months minimum and see how we get along. And uh, we've been clearing out her, her little house uh, where um, the dairy used to be, and uh, we still call it the dairy, but I might start calling it Lucy's little house, because I quite like that. Um, so James is in there right now painting it and making it look lovely for her. Um, we need to figure out the floor, because there's a massive gaping hole in it right now. Um, so that's good. I grazed my knees. Um, I went dancing um, with uh, Justine and Toe, and um, we went out to see David Sugar play at uh, Shunt Club, even though we had to wait two hours to get in. <laughs> they obviously didn't know who I was. And um, we had to wait two hours, and then finally the uh, bouncer just let us in, because we were like, Look, not going, so just let us in. Isn't that right? So, um, so we got in, and we had lots to drink, and it's great fun, <laughs> and I grazed my knees very badly, and hurt my hand, and um, but it all was a right laugh at the time. Anyway, don't do that. It's, it's not much fun. Um, Paul has been carpenting. I'm not sure if that's a word that he has been carpenting, as carpenters do. Uh, he's made some beautiful wainscoting, which is another word for um, skirting board. Um, and I prefer wainscoting. Um, we've decided that we were going to hide the, uh, where, the, where the leads go. We were going to kind of hide them and, and kind of make it so that you could pull out uh, the, the front cover and, and do the leads in there. But I thought it might be better to kind of show off the fact that we're trying to hide it. So it's, um, it's behind Perspex and there's going to be a tube light in there. So the whole of the kind of edge of the floor lights up um, and it's got loads of kind of cyborg leads in it. Um, and like really kind of fancy detailed beading um, kind of, yeah, like, kind of, yeah, proper wainscoting style, but it's got like this kind of cyber um, perspex to it, so that's going to be good. Adrian's been painting with Simon, and they've been doing the studio, and they've been um, making the windows look lovely. Um, I haven't been able to do anything to the ceiling, because um, they're going to put three layers of acoustic uh, plaster on it, and it's going to take weeks, um, but... It'll be all right in the end, but it just means everything's going to get absolutely really filthy if we do anything, so can't do anything about that. Um, Lucy caught a mouse. Um, a mouse was running about the house, and uh, Lucy uh, was having a little play, um, pouring it. Lucy. Lucy. Oh, no, Lucy, not Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy's not... Lucy's our artist in residence. Cindy, Cindy the cat. <laughs> Yes, Lucy was pouring about at a mouse, and then um, and then the other side of her caught it, and uh, and I saw I saw Cindy scrabbling about and kind of this little thing eking in the corner, and I had a little look, and this mouse ran out, tiny tiny little cutest mouse ever, ran out and went into the kitchen, and uh, Lucy was cooking some dinner, and um, and I was like, look, there's a mouse, there's a mouse, and uh, she was like, oh, and she got she was very very sorted and together, and she ran off to the mouse with her bare hands and caught the mouse. Uh, after it actually jumping, jumping out of midair, like jumping in and out of midair, um, uh, pretty, pretty amazing for a tiny little mouse to have that much kind of um, elevation. I mean, very clever mouse. Um, I ordered my Mac, um, which is coming soon. The desk is fully integrated with Pro Tools, 
now we have downloaded all the bits we needed to do. Jessie, Lucy and me have all stained the kitchen tops and they look very nice. Uh, the dairy's being done, so that really plastered the ceiling. Blah, blah, blah. I went to a Simpsons premiere with Henry and it was really great and we walked down the yellow carpet and I sat on the bench with the Simpsons and kissed Homer and um, that was very good. Um, a little bit kind of sterile because he kind of didn't really move. But, you know, the imagination runs wild. So there we go, that's what happened this week. A uh, lot. And, um, and all is well, we are continuing. And um, I still haven't decided on a colour for the room. I'm thinking that maybe this is the only house, only room in the house, which is actually quite bland. Because all the others are like red, orange, green, blue, yellow. Um, and I think, I think maybe down here I might just kind of go really earthy because I like the idea of the basement being like the kind of, you know, the strength and the, the, the ground, the body of the, uh, of the whole house and I want something solid for the whole house to sit on. And I think if you had something like a yellow down here, which actually there was a yellow down here before, but I want, I want to have like a kind of earthy, grounded colour, um, but not, not for it to look dirty. So I was thinking I might go for like boring grey, but there's going to be an amazing kind of light wall here and uh, the fireplace and I can still paint lots of like pretty leaves and stuff all over the, all over the walls. And there's going to be a sky, projected sky on the ceiling. Um, so, you know, it won't look boring. Um, but I like the idea that it's kind of this, you know, this really kind of, you know, minute colour. Uh, and then above is the kind of heart of the house with the bright red, um, the bright red heart of the house in the dining room. So, there we go. That's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, until next time.